Hi, it is Wednesday, August 29th, and Brooke's puppies are six weeks old today. So it is time, <laughs> wiggly. It is time to start the selection process, which is always a fun time. Um, and tomorrow, these pups will go into the vet and get their first set of vaccinations done, their microchips placed, and some fecal testing done. All just routine things that we do before pups go into their new homes. But we're gonna show you each pup, and we'll start with pink here. She is the smallest of the litter. Today she weighs six pounds and 13 ounces. Um, and we're just gonna show you her markings a little bit. I've mentioned before, at this age, their fur is in transition, and it's a little bit thin, so it can be kind of hard to see their markings. So if you wanna be sure of what each puppy's markings look like, it would be a good idea to go back to one of those, it's either like the first or second video we did of this litter um, and showed each puppy's markings. And they really show up a lot better then at birth. <laughs> if we can get her to hold still enough, we will show you. So pink has a little tiny white marking right here on her chest calic. And then she's got quite a bit here on the left foot and a little tiny bit on the right back paw. So those are her markings. As far as her personality, this litter so far, the whole litter is actually looking very middle line, very middle range um, for temperament, for energy, all that kind of thing, which is actually really good. The kind of middle range puppies are the most versatile puppies. Um, so that's a good thing. So I would categorize all of these puppies as middle range temperament. And when I say temperament, I'm meaning that they're not overly submissive or overly dominant. Um, and then also as far as energy, they're all kind of middle range, um, you know, how energetic they are. So that's certainly where she's falling in, in both of those things. One thing we do like to tell people is even the puppies who are not dominant will at times test their dominance. It's very much like a child growing up and they'll test their independence and, and that kind of a thing. So it's just a matter of being prepared for that um, and being able to use some gentle um, correction and alpha training there just to let them know that you are their leader um, and then everything you know just really goes well they're just such wonderful dogs ouch you're getting me but there is our pink girl just cute as can be again the smallest of the girls let's see if we can get the other girls to come come here tail <laughs> oh good puppies oh good puppies yes we, every time we feed them, we whistle. So they have been started on recall. I don't know if the camera got that in view or not. They all came running when I whistled. So that's something we've kind of started for you. Um, let me just get you the right numbers. So Teal is next smallest, just a little bit bigger than pink. Teal is seven pounds, three ounces today. So that is where her markings are coming in. As far as the three girls, I would say Teal is a little bit more energetic. Um, than the other two but it you know it can be really so hard to say they all take their turns being energetic and they all take their turns being sleepy heads um, so it can be kind of hard to say as it bounces around from day to day but kind of the whole picture glimpse of over the you know passing weeks I think Till has a little bit higher energy level than the other girls um, very playful she's one that likes to initiate play with the other puppies. She'll come running up and bowl them over or, or pounce on them or something like that wanting to play. Um, I'm not really seeing it. Sometimes when puppies act like that, it can be dominance. But with her, it really more seems to be, you know, just initiating play. And let's show you her marking. She's solid front paws. She's got a little tiny bit on this back right toe and a little tiny bit on the back left. So just a little tiny bit of markings there. We look up here. Oh, we're stuck on my shirt. She's got kind of like pink. Um, there's a oh, hard steel, my love. There's a little tiny bit, a little bit less than pink, right <laughs> there on her calic. Um, that, let me see if I can get a better look under there, see if anything else is showing up under there. Oh, she just doesn't want to do it. Yes, she does have a little bit. She was one that had a little bit in the throat. And that is still showing up, just very, very faint right there. So that may come back. Um, those are her markings. 
All right, third for our girls is the biggest of the girls, but all of the boys are bigger than all of the girls. But yellow is the biggest of the three girls. She's eight pounds even, so a little bit bigger than her sisters. She also has a little bit bigger markings than her sisters. So let's show those to you. If you can see, <laughs> she does not want to cooperate. You can see she's got a little bit larger chest markings showing up right here. Good girl. Her front paws are solid, but her back paws, this back right paw, has quite a bit of white, and the back left paw has a little bit as well. Her coat, um, overall coat coloring, is a little bit lighter as well than um, the other puppies. So those things are really preference as far as markings and whether the light or dark coloring. It's really, you know, not a one is better than the other kind of a thing. Oh, they stole my weights. No, give me a back. Um, one is not necessarily better than the other. That kind of thing, just a matter of preference. And again, like all of them, you know, quite middle range, temperament, personality. I'm cute as a bug's ear. And now we will move on to the boys. We'll do blue. He's curled up right here by my feet. Come here, sir. Oh, come here. Can you be a movie star? Let's look so we can tell him your right numbers, okay? Blue is tied with red for um, the second and third largest puppies. So gray is biggest of the boys and of the whole litter. Then red and blue are tied for number two and three as far as size. I can tell you that weight. Um, eight pounds, six ounces for both of them. So eight pounds, six ounces for Mr. Blue here. <laughs> Again, middle range, um, just great personalities. They're all very, very active. <laughs> right now they go through spurts of activity where they play 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 and then they crush they either play hard or crash hard everything they do they do with intensity that is a visual for you um and let's show you markings here on mr blue can we put your chin up so he has a little tiny chest calyx that's still showing up right now a lot like the girls right there um nothing is under the chin if we look at his front paws, they're solid. Someone's trying to steal my paper. Did they get it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me a red. Give that back. Stick it on my shoulder. Okay. They shouldn't reach it there. Huh? So a little tiny white right there on the chest. Solid front paws. And as far as back paws, I'm not seeing any markings right now at this point either. So for him, what's showing up right now, again, check the earlier videos to confirm what markings each puppy had at birth. Some will come back, some don't. But right now, all that's showing up on him is this little tiny bit on the chest. Great little puppy. All of these puppies are very playful. Very, you know, they like to interact with you. As soon as a person comes in, all of this, all six puppies run up and want to interact with people, which is a very typical thing for a Vishla and also a very good sign. Come here, Red. Red was trying to stock up on something and was almost throwing a point. I have seen some of these pups already throw points. Um, for those of you who aren't hunters, that's when they kind of stick out their nose and tail and a paw um, to tell where a bird is, or they'll sometimes point other things, butterflies, you know, the such. So here is Mr. Red. Again, he's tied for two and three with blue at, wasn't it eight six? Yes, at eight six for those guys as far as their weights. And mosquito. Oh, don't let that fight you. Okay, and let's show you his markings. So if we roll him back, he has quite a big marking. It's um, kind of a banner right down the chest right here with a little bit of a hook at the top. <laughs> he does not want to hold still right now. All these puppies are actually, mosquitoes trying to get me, very good at being submissive for people, which means that they will let us roll them on their back. That's a very submissive position for a dog. Um, and they'll let us roll them on their back and pet their tummies and stuff like that. They all submit very well to people, but when they're very energetic like this, they don't really want to hold still. So he's got that banner down his chest if we look at front paws, solid. If we look at back paws, just a tiny bit. I know, we're almost done. Tiny bit on the back right on that toe and a tiny bit on the back left on these two toes. So that is red with quite a significant marking on the chest. 
Middle range personality, great, friendly, playful, interactive puppy. And now we're looking for Gray in this pile. Call me our sir. He is the biggest one of the litter. Huh. My kids call him the friendly giant because he's the biggest. <laughs> and his weight is eight pounds, 14 ounces. So, you know, just half a pound about bigger than his brothers for our gray puppy. Again, I would not label him a dominant puppy, um, but his energy kind of, um, like Till's energy is a little bit higher than the other boys. And again, he's more, he's more likely to run up and, and engage in play, be the one that's initiating play just like Till, but with both of them, I'm not really seeing dominant behavior yet as much as just high energy and playful behavior. There's a possibility both of those could, you know, as they grow, develop into slightly more dominant dogs than the rest of the litter, but I still would not, you know, I try and compare puppies to their litter of how they, they categorize in the litter. But if I look at the whole picture of all my experience with Vesla puppies, I would not label any of these puppies as dominant. Um, I would label them all middle line puppies, which again is very ideal. All right, let's show you Gray's markings. And lay on your back, big boy. <laughs> so he has a chest marking right here that is almost kind of like the end of an arrow or something. It's not quite the banner, but you know, just this marking right here. And if we lift up, I'm not seeing anything in the chin area. If we look at front paws, they're solid. And if we look at back paws, oh, there's just a few tiny white hairs on this one back toe, but that is it. So his is mostly this kind of sort of a banner, but not as much as blues right there on his chest as far as his markings. Um, again, just a great, friendly, playful pup. Runs right up to you when you come in. Loves to interact with people loves to play with his, his litter mates. I'm just real happy with all of the temperaments and personalities <laughs> of these puppies. That's right. Do you want to steal my hat? Yes, is that what you're after? So anyway, though those are the puppies and an introduction to kind of um, where they're all standing and categorized right now in the litter. I really don't think you can go wrong with a single one of them. Um, I'm glad that they are displaying their Vesla energy right now because that this is very typical behavior for a Vesla puppy. Um, like I say, they, everything they do, they do it with heart. Um, and that's one of the things that's great about this breed. You get them outside hiking or running or hunting or you know whatever activity you're wanting to do with them and they can just go, go, go. They've got the energy, they've got the stamina and the spunk to really perform and keep up with you and you know just be a really fun outdoor dog that way. But then when you bring them in the house, one of the things they're known for, most hunting dogs don't calm down very well. Um, these guys are known for, of course, if they're trained, <laughs> very important part, and of course, if they have have to have had their energy needs met. If they're not exercised, they're gonna be crazy in the house. But if you've met those energy needs for them, then when you bring them in the house, they have a reputation for being able to turn into couch potatoes. Snuggle buddies that just, you know, wanna curl up on the couch with you and watch a movie kind of thing. And that is unique for a dog as energetic as a Vishla. So one of their great, great traits. And right now, they're displaying their energy. Isn't that right? Yes. Anyway, hopefully that helps in the picking process. If you have questions for us, let us know. And we're just so super excited for all of you families that are getting really close to having your new pup come to your home. play now, Gray? Now are you going to get tired? Red thinks it was Adam whistling. He's going to the cameraman. There you go. <laughs> it was me. Hi. Good boy. Good girl. Yeah. Good puppy. And blue 
is trying to steal my paper. Yes, trying to steal my paper.